Friday Footy Show, proudly brought to you by Towards Zero for the 2018-19 TIO and TFL season. Round four has come around quickly, so let's look at what's making news around the grounds ahead of the first bounce. Men's Premier League action heads to the Tiwi Islands for the first time this season when the Bombers host Nightcliff at 2pm on Saturday. There was some concern last week about the state of the Oval, but we have it on good authority. A nice sprinkling of rain and some ground maintenance has revitalised the ground and we're good to go. We'll be working hard to live stream the game, so stay tuned to the AFLNT YouTube channel. But just remember, the live streaming requires a strong phone signal, so it cannot be guaranteed. An update on the under-16 competition now. On Monday night, 40 people from across the league and clubs came together to discuss the future of the competition after a number of teams have dropped out. What became apparent is that numbers across the age group are still healthy and while some clubs have had to withdraw, others have built up. The key takes out of the meetings were the under-16s will operate as one competition up to and including round six, all who attended the meeting agreed to let the NTFL handpick matches up to round six to ensure appropriate and competitive games would be played. There will also be some crossover matches to allow the league to gather data so when the time comes to regrade the teams it is being done based on known information. At round six, the league intends to regrade the competition into Division One and Division Two divisions, providing the data collected from the trial period supports this. After and assuming there is regarding the under-16 Division Two competition, will change from being an 18-a-side comp to a 16-a-side competition. And up to and including round six, AFLNT will allow clubs to use match day permits which means players can be loaned to other clubs to help make up numbers and give the player an opportunity to play. However, each player can still only play once per round. So stay tuned and at round six, we're sure there will be more info. This week, we congratulate Darwin Buffalo's duo, Tim Eldridge and Cameron Stokes, who are set to play their 100th Premier League games. We wish them well. Who are you tipping in round four? Visit tipping.aflnt.com.au to be registered in this season's competition with some great prizes up for grabs. With the weekly top tips to prize, you could join today and win by Monday. If you want to see who's been named for the men's Premier League teams before trying to pick a winner, then head on over to the AFLNT website. We caught up with Fremantle Docker and Nightcliff's very own Ryan Nyhouse while he was on his player break in Darwin. The no-nonsense defender told us he comes home during the break because he loves getting along to the local footy and is even down to catch some Tigers training sessions as well. Ryan Nyhouse, mate, great to see you around town. Uh, how are you liking it out west at Frio? Yeah, it's, it's been good. I've been there for three seasons now and um, starting to get some games behind my belt. So, um, yeah, it's, yeah, I really enjoy it. Time off in the AFL, mate. It's fairly brief before you know it, you're back into it again. What do you enjoy about coming back into town? Yeah, obviously I've got a lot of family here, so it's, it's great to come back and to be around them again. Um, and I really enjoy coming back up and obviously we've got footy uh, happening at the moment. So yeah, I really love getting back and watching some NTFL. And mate, you're a, a Nightcliff lad at heart. Have you been down to watch some training? Yeah, I've spent a bit of time down there over the past couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I like to give back and help with the juniors as well, so uh, I've been down to help them out, but um, yeah, I've, I enjoy going down there and just having a watch and they're looking good. Hey, mate, what, what did you kind of learn at Nycliffe in your, in your younger days and, and what do you still kind of carry with you at the AFL level today? Yeah, um, when, I was, when I played my first season um, up in the Premier League, um, yeah, I really got trusted with those lockdown roles, and that's kind of really where it started for me um, as a as a lockdown defender. So, um, yeah, I kind of honed those skills in um, while I was still there at Nycliffe, and I was able to, um, and still am able to, kind of carry those traits through and take it onto the big stage, and um, yeah, try to lock down some of those dangerous small forwards. Um, but yeah, I think I really developed that here as a junior, and um, yeah, I carry that with me now. Fantastic, mate. Good to see you in town. Thanks for the chat and uh, enjoy the rest of the off-season. No worries. Thank you.
We wish Ryan all the best with the Dockers in season 2019. Before we go, let's look at round three play of the round winner. When voting closed this morning, it was 2016-17 Nichols medal winner Tim Mosquito, who has sealed the win for his brilliant running goal in the Tars comeback win last weekend. And congratulations goes to Tars team manager and faithful Sue Cotts, whose vote for Timmy earned her the fan prize. Keep your eye out from Monday afternoon for three new players so that you can win too. That's it for this week. Enjoy the footy and we'll see you next Friday.